Maybe. Well, this behind me is St. Thomas Church, and this is its former reverend, Michael McGivney. He's already had one previous miracle attributed to him, and confirming a second could put him on the path to sainthood. We had something happen. That's St. Thomas Pastor Father Joseph Crowley addressing his congregation just minutes after an apparent miracle at Sunday Mass. What happened is our Lord multiplied himself. Fox 61, the only station allowed inside the church just days after the Eucharistic wafers, which Catholics believe transformed themselves into the body of Christ, reportedly multiplied in a blessed serving vessel called the Saborium during communion. A very cool uh, miracle. There's no doubt. Um, I have no doubt. And neither do parishioners. Just feel it in your heart. Just feel it in your heart. You, How can you look at everything that's going on and not believe? Jean Beck says it's a moment she will carry with her the rest of her life. She lost her mother just two days before. And it was such a glorious, wonderful, joyful thing that it brought peace to my heart because she was a parishioner all her life here. The Archdiocese of Hartford told Fox 61 the investigation into the reported miracle will take at least two weeks. It surprises me. I hope it's real. If it isn't, at least it'll bring uh, somebody back to the faith and know that these things can happen. Speaking exclusively to Fox 61, Archbishop Leonard Blair says it could involve a scientific or forensic analysis of the communion hosts. I'm sending out uh, an experienced uh, priest uh, who has a knowledge of uh, church law, canon law, uh, uh, to uh, follow procedure to just examine exactly what happened and under what circumstances and by whom. Archbishop Blair telling Fox 61 the outcome of that investigation will determine if he needs to notify the Vatican. The guidelines for these kinds of situations do uh, call for me to notify the congregation for the doctrine of the faith in Rome. Throughout the 21st century, there have only been four Eucharistic miracles recognized by the Catholic Church. The most recent, Poland, 2013. A host fell onto the floor. It was put into water to dissolve, but instead started to get red streaks. Those streaks were analyzed and found to contain fragments of heart muscle. Reporting in Thomaston, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.